Disneyland, often referred to as the Magic Kingdom, was designed to make adults feel young again, and for kids of all ages to enjoy their fantasies. Walt Disney created a distinctive and unique theme park. See, it's not the typical collection of amusements like roller coasters, circular rides, family rides, transportation rides, water rides, extreme thrill rides, and kitty rides. No, Disneyland is a complete, self-contained world that looks and feels entirely different than anywhere else on Earth. It puts a smile on everyone's face with cartoon characters, colorful fairy tale buildings, cheerful music, and entertainment aplenty. Families from all over the world visit a Disneyland theme park every year. However, despite excellent performances from entertainers, hours of fun on amusement rides, or just walking through the various lands, the Disneyland theme parks have some secrets. Underneath that veneer of happiness, joy, and sheer fun exists something darker. Here are 20 creepy facts about Disneyland. Number 20. Tomorrowland is full of edible plants. When it was built, Walt Disney decided to plant edible fruits and vegetables throughout Tomorrowland. According to Disney, the visionary landscaping doubles as a potential farm, projecting an ecologically astute future, where humanity makes the most of its resources. What makes this creepy is the thought of thousands of park guests trampling down the plants in search for their favorite fruit or veggie. Number 19. People scatter loved ones' remains. According to the Wall Street Journal, both Disneyland and Disney World are among the most popular places in the world to scatter the remains of loved ones. The practice is so common, the staff has given it a special code name. When they catch someone spreading ashes in the park or discover the ash remains on a ride, a HEPA, or a High Efficiency Particulate Air Cleanup request is made. The ultra-fine vacuum cleaner is used to tidy up the mess and get rid of the evidence. Number 18. Walt Disney's ghost still haunts his old apartment. Walt Disney passed away on December 15, 1966. Legend has it that he still haunts his former apartment above the firehouse on Main Street. One story says that Walt's ghost repeatedly turned off and on the apartment lights when an employee came in to clean and dust. Another version claims the cleaning lady heard a voice say, Don't forget, I am still here. Number 17. The Complex Underground Tunnel System Under Disneyland Underground tunnels are always creepy and scary. The long corridors are usually dark, cramp, and eerily silent. Disneyland was built on an enormously complex tunnel system that permits the Disney characters and staff to move with ease without encountering the public. Some of the tunnels are so long that they travel from one land to another, done by a golf cart. Their use is restricted to park employees only and the public is not allowed to enter. Perhaps these tunnels are scarier than some of the Disney rides. Number 16. Feral cats roam the park after dark. Once darkness takes over the park, hundreds of feral cats, abandoned domestic cats, come out of hiding and give the park a creepy feeling. However, unlike the 1972 horror film, The Night of a Thousand Cats, these felines are mostly friendly. Since the park opened in 1955, the free-roaming furry mammals have been welcomed by park officials, and they're quietly fed and cared for by Disney employees. The cats help keep the mouse population in check. Number 15. Haunted Mansion really is haunted. 
The Disneyland Haunted Mansion has 999 happy haunts, including the three hitchhiking ghosts, Ezra, Gus, and Phineas. However, visitors riding in their doom buggies through the house have more to be frightened of than the Disney-created phantoms. According to a popular myth, the Haunted Mansion really became haunted by park guests who have secretly sprinkled the ashes of their relatives inside the Disneyland attraction. Number 14. Pirates of the Caribbean ride used real skeletons. At the Magic Kingdom, not all that appears to be real using fabricated materials and special effects is fake. Jason Sorrell, in his book, Pirates of the Caribbean, From the Magic Kingdom to the Movies, claims the skeleton characters used in the original Pirates of the Caribbean attraction were real skeletons that came from the UCLA Medical Center. Number 13. Disney Employees Codename for Vomit The mixture of topsy-turvy, twisty rides and fast food is a recipe for motion sickness, queasy feelings, and stomach aches. The result is often vomiting. According to OC Weekly, Disneyland staff use a secret code to communicate that a guest has vomited in the park. They call the event a protein spill, or Code V. Number 12. The Matterhorn houses a basketball court. The top third of the Matterhorn contains a small attic-like space inside that has been empty since the mountain was constructed. Walt Disney installed the basketball hoop inside, giving the Matterhorn climbers and ride operators a way to relax during their work breaks. The thought of the park workers inside the Matterhorn relaxing while guests race down the mountain on bobsleds is already a bit eerie. But playing basketball is just... Plain bizarre. Number 11. Mr. Toad's Wild Ride Ends in Hell Many of the oldest Disneyland rides run entirely inside and are sparsely lit to create fear, a pounding heart rate, and quicken the breathing of riders who pass the scary scenes. One former dark attraction, however, Mr. Toad's Wild Ride, Terminated with Mr. Toad from The Wind in the Willows, driving a collision course into an oncoming train and arriving in hell, complete with a menacing demon, small devils, and an oversized dragon. Number 10. The Pet Cemetery Behind the Haunted Mansion Cemeteries have a reputation for being haunted by ghosts. They're often dark, somber places, making them the perfect setting for a phantom or two. Park guests rarely saw the original cemetery created in the 80s, behind the Haunted Mansion. The small patch of lawn was home to just a few grave statues. Though, it has grown in recent years, and now includes the mansion's animal inhabitants, as well as a gravestone for Mr. Toad. Number 9. Walt Disney Spied on Park Guests Walt Disney built the apartment he lived in above the firehouse, overlooking Main Street. He chose the location for its view of the busiest area of the park, and with the intention of actually spying on guests. Even though Walt's purpose was to listen to the reactions and opinions of the attendees for use in making park improvements, the idea is a bit disconcerting. It was not unlike George Orwell's 1984, Big Brother is Watching You. Number 8. Ghost Rider on Space Mountain According to legend, the Space Mountain ride has a ghost rider. Witnesses claim his reddish hair and face make him look like the ghost of Game of Thrones raider Tormund Giantsbane. He is purportedly the ghost of a guest who met his demise on the ride back in the 70s. Although he politely disappears before the ride finishes, it is recommended never to sit next to an empty seat. 
Number 7. The Lady in White on Main Street Long before Disneyland was constructed, the land was occupied by an older woman. She passed away on the property in 1900. One legend tells of a lady in white who allegedly walks Main Street at night dressed in turn-of-the-century clothing. She seems to be window shopping, and some claim she guides lost children to the Disneyland Baby Care Center. Number 6. Dolly's Dip on the Matterhorn In 1984, park guest Dolly Young was riding on a Matterhorn bobsled when she unbuckled herself to assist a child. Standing up, she hit her head on the crossbeam above just before a dip and was ejected. Landing onto the tracks, she was then run over by the following bobsled. Since her demise, Disneyland employees complain of being watched near Dolly's Dip as they inspect the track after the park closes. Number 5. Trapped in the Carousel of Progress in 1974, 18-year-old Deborah Stone began work as a ride operator, two weeks after the Carousel of Progress became the America Sings attraction. Her misfortune was being caught between the attraction's rotating stages, where she met her demise. Cast members have claimed for years that they still hear Deborah reminding them to be careful. Number 4. Monorail Ghost Seen by Park Workers In 1966, a teenager attempted to sneak into Disneyland, as teenagers will do, by climbing a fence. He was successful in entering the park without paying the entrance fee, but that is where his fortune ended. Attempting to cross in front of the monorail, he was struck by the train and dragged nearly 40 feet down the track. Since the event, park workers and monorail riders have reported seeing the ghost of the 19-year-old running alongside the train. Number 3. The Crying Boy at the Haunted Mansion Exit Several Disneyland employees have reported that a small boy is often seen crying near the exit of the Haunted Mansion. When the staff tries to speak to the Phantom, he ignores them as if they don't exist. Believers claim he is the ghost of a young child whose ashes were scattered at the ride years ago. Number 2. It's a Small World Dolls Come to Life While the It's a Small World ride was designed to amuse and entertain the youngest Disneyland guests, the hundreds of dolls dancing and singing are admittedly just a bit creepy. Some of them have lifelike expressions and seem to stare at the riders passing by in boats. Some part cast members believe the dolls come to life after dark, switching places or simply disappearing altogether. Number 1. Disneyland employee secret codes could mean trouble. Disneyland employees are careful with the language they use when speaking to park guests. Splash Mountain is now closed due to mechanical failure, and Splash Mountain is now open are phrases never spoken by the staff. The first is too frightening and disappointing to people who have come to visit the happiest place on earth, and the second would cause a stampede. Code words are used like Code 101, meaning a particular ride is down. Cast members tell the public a ride is temporarily unavailable instead. 